you. You're not one of these third-rate assassins, I can tell. But if you or anyone else puts a hand on me, I'm answering with my axes. I've been cutting down these mercenaries for the better part of the day. I'm guessing my target knows I'm on to her and has started sending them my way. My associate, Horn Orenvi, might know something about it, but I can't bring this heat to him. More like gather information, and if you're offering, I can pay you. Horn usually holds court in the outlaw's refuge. He'll be the only one there with bodyguards. Ask him if Rhaenyla Treveri's been through recently. Got it? Fair warning. Horn might ask you for a favor in return for information. I can pay you back, but you don't get paid until I get paid, and I don't get paid until I find Rhaenyla. Make sure you get something good. I'll find you after you're done. Well, make it quick, before more of those mercenaries decide to show up. I just can't figure out where I slipped up. Rhaenyla shouldn't know I was after her. My catches never do. Targets. Bounties. Got fishing on the mind, I suppose. I was planning a trip when I got put on this job. High priority in the pay was nothing I could pass up. Lucky for the fish. I'm a mercenary. Bounty hunter. Assassin. Whatever gets me paid. Rainilla stole something. Was told I'd know it when I saw it. Research notes to try and gain favor with some rival Telvani magister, maybe. Tale as old as time in these parts. I think so. I don't know. I was handed the job by my job broker. He let slip that Rainilla used to work for the client, but I didn't stick around to hear much else. It is a time-sensitive job, and I was told to stop Rainilla at any cost. Thought it'd be better to get on her trail sooner rather than later. I don't need to know all the fancy details and motivations. I just need to know enough to get paid. He's one of Necrom's only crime lords, big fish in a small pond, and he knows everybody, so I am certain he knows Rainilla. I've worked for him before. We're not on bad terms, but I wouldn't go to him if I had any other choice. He's chatty. Too friendly for my taste. Lures people in just so he can get them under his thumb and in his debt. Last time we did business, we didn't see eye to eye on something. Let's leave it at that. What? My story? I tell you to make it quick, and that's what you decide to ask me. Try again, or get moving. And listen, don't mention me to Harn. It probably won't do you any favors. We stay to the shadow. Please, Han. They're not just flowers. They're... Surely a man of your talents can grow more. Now, move. Others wait in need of my counsel.
Your face isn't familiar to me, but I'd know that look anywhere. You want something from me. Information, probably. Well, what is it you're looking for? Rainilla Treviri. Really? I may know something about her. Perhaps you can enlighten me on why it is you're seeking her. All right, don't get so touchy, Fla. Rainilla was through recently. I can tell you what I know, but not without a favor in return. Why don't you deliver these red flowers I just gathered to some dear friends of mine? Sharp as night. I like that lizard, and I hear I'm not the only one. That's useful information, Fla. I'll tell you what you want to know. Rainilla was through recently. She sought out Deredrian, a fence who specializes in moving specialty items. She keeps a room in town. I'll mark it on your map. Careful, though. Deredrian and Rainilla were old friends, but they fell out some time ago. Asking after one might cause the other to be very... sharp with her answers. If you have further business with me, get right to it. If you don't, you're blocking my view. Oh, this. I got too chummy with a certain Argonian associate of mine. All I did was put a hand on his shoulder to get his attention. Apparently it was the wrong move. He let me know with a nasty swipe of his claws. Can't say I blame him. I've attacked people for far less. I haven't seen this associate of mine for quite some time. Pity. I'd like to thank him properly for what he did. No, just thank him. This scar gives me a subtle air of menace that has done wonders for my business. I don't hold it against him. But the same can't be said for my bodyguards. So I suppose it's for the best that he keeps his distance. I think my mother will love this urn I'm making for her. Stranger, what business do you have with me? I'm trying to tend my aunt's funeral pyre. Oh, thank the three. You made it. I couldn't finish my aunt's funeral without her cherished shield. Her spirit will rest easier knowing it still protects her remains. With my deepest gratitude, this payment is yours.
Hey, told you I'd find you. Rainilla, looks like debt collection notices. Not helpful to us. Blah, rot math. Makes me wish I was born without nostrils. Can't understand how anyone drinks the stuff. Is this Doredrian's place? Seems like I want it. Let me see that letter. So, Rainilla came by, pestering this Doredrian for help. Why? Great. Well, maybe they patched things up and Doredrian went to go help her. Though that doesn't explain why she'd leave behind a note that says exactly where she's gone. Especially if she's trying to hide from this reformer that Rainilla mentioned. Maybe. My job broker told me to track down Rainilla and take back what she stole for an important client. He didn't give other details, and that's usually fine with me. No memory of my past makes no answers an easy pill for me to swallow. I woke up a few years back in the middle of Valenwood with a nasty headache and no memory except my name. But that doesn't have anything to do with the job. Let's get to that campsite. I'll scout ahead and see if we can take Rainilla by surprise. Great. If all goes well, then we can both get paid and go our separate ways, I guess. Meet you there, and don't go blundering in without me. Merc, I scouted ahead. That campsite is crawling with the mercenaries that attacked me. Seems like they're searching or waiting for something. But that got me thinking. Why would those mercenaries be after both me and Rainilla? I thought about that on the way over, too. If Rainilla could afford to hire mercenaries, she wouldn't be desperate for Deredrian's help like she was in that note we found. Right? Something else is going on here. That campsite is the only lead we have on finding Rainilla. If we can get there, maybe we can find something to keep us on her trail. I'm not used to looking out for others. Can you handle yourself if we run into trouble? This one was dead when we got here, right? Check around. Maybe we'll find something useful. Wait. Those lanterns. This is Rainilla's signal? Look, someone left a trail. Crouch down and you'll see it.
From the tracks, it looks like two fleeing, two in pursuit. They couldn't have gone too far. Looks like Rainilla and one other got away, got rid of her tail, and managed to hide her prince from here with magic. Well, if Deredrian came here to help Rainilla, it doesn't seem like she did a very good job. And no other sign of Rainilla or the one she was traveling with. What are those notes? What did you find out? Right. She threw in with the reformer who told her to prioritize my capture over Rainilla's? What? And he's the one who hired me? Without knowing it? This is the last time I ever find work through a job broker. No, but... We can piece it together. The fence moving specialty items, the two lantern signal, the list of operatives, this person called Dim, who the reformer wants back alive. Rainilla isn't traveling alone with some trinket. She's freeing a slave. I don't want to think about that right now. This can't be all there is. There has to be someone who can give us answers. There was another name I saw, Mevi. In Old Isra, right? That's not far. If we can find her, maybe she could tell us more. I'll meet you there. I just need a minute. I find the funerary rich.
See that? Two lanterns. That's got to be Mevi. Sharp as night? By Azura, after all these years, is it really you? I was afraid you'd say something like that. I don't know you, and I've never met Sharp. But the way my Rainilla spoke of him, I'd recognize him anywhere. Are you one of her connections? Have you been watching over him all this time? Did he finally remember Rainilla? The reformer uses experimental magic on his slaves. Rainilla didn't understand the process, and when she excised it from Sharp to free him, it tore something from him. His memories, she thought. Rainilla never forgave herself for what happened. She put herself on assignment. She's freeing another from the reformer. I haven't heard from her, but that's how these things often go. Forgive me, it's only just occurred to me, but if Sharp has no memories of Rainilla, how did you find me? What? Deredrian? No, Rainilla needed her help to find the smugglers' tunnels in Gorn. She'd arranged for a boat to take them to safety. If it's just the two of them in those tunnels... I need to get to her. Please, can you help? You two go on ahead. I need to gather Rainilla's research and prepare to travel light for a while. We always knew this day might come. Thankfully, we always tried to remain ready for just such an occasion. I can spare a moment to tell you what I know, but after, we really should get moving to Gorn. She is my wife. Sharp is the reason we met, actually. She needed forged documents for his new identity. I'd never done anything like that before, but she convinced me. Pity he didn't get to use the forgeries. But some good came of it, at least. It is. She told me he had ambitious ideals that challenged the traditions of House Telvani. But when she witnessed the cost of those ideals firsthand, she had a change of heart. Breaking ties wasn't enough. She started freeing his slaves. When she lets me. I'm skilled in forgeries and logistics, but I've never done field work, not like her. It's dangerous work, and, well, she's always been very protective of me. She has an informal web of operatives across Tamriel focused on freeing slaves. She relies heavily on favors and appealing to people's better nature. It's a struggle, to be sure. I think Rainilla takes on a lot more than she can bear. Rainilla can tell you more when we find her. The way she speaks of him, it's like she's worrying after an old friend... She liked to imagine that he ended up living a peaceful life as a fisherman somewhere. He was feral when she excised him from the reformer's control. She had no choice but to subdue him. She delivered him to Deredrian at an old safe site in Valenwood. He was supposed to go to Blackmarsh from there, but things didn't go as planned. Deredrian put a hand on Sharp to shake him awake and he nearly clawed her face off. She said she barely escaped with her life. I can't blame Sharp, and Rainilla felt the same. He must have reacted in fear, that's all. No, Deredrian was furious. Rainilla didn't know such a thing would happen, but that didn't seem to matter to Deredrian. She had complained that Rainilla wasn't paying her enough anyway. I'm just sad it ended this way for her. He's a rich and powerful Telvani magister who hides behind his moniker and keeps the particulars of his research close to his chest. He practices horrible experiments on his slaves. Somehow, he thinks his work is going to end slavery in Tamriel. Rainilla says he uses some experimental metal to create a sort of link between him and his subjects. I've blocked out most of the details, but I do know that Sharp was the reformer's favorite. Sharp's resistance always captivated the Reformer. It was as if perfecting that link and conquering Sharp's will was his greatest trial. Precisely. After that happened to Sharp, Rainilla studied the vile process and learned how to safely deattune those freed after him. She'll be thrilled to see him again. I just know it. She might even know how to restore his memories.
Sharp, Rainilla would say that you are under no obligation to help. But please... I'm on my way. Where are the smuggler's tunnels you mentioned? I think there's a secret entrance in the southwest tunnels. I'll follow shortly. Please, hurry. You're here after all. I was about to reel in this piece of my past without you. I thought maybe you decided to move on. This is far beyond what I hired you for, isn't it? Maybe you're like me and you never pass up a payday, but I probably wouldn't even have stopped to help someone like me in the first place. The Gorn is packed to the brim with mad wizards. Doesn't make it too different from the rest of the peninsula, but I've heard worse things have moved in recently. I guess what I'm saying is I'll watch your back in there so long as you're watching mine.
They've got a call. Hey, Fetcher! Looking for me? Jay? What are you doing here? What did you just call me? Rinilla, I'm here. Just stay still. Your sharps friend? I had feared he spent all those years alone. But he found someone. He found you. His sister, Dimike. So close to freedom. I promise you'll help her. Take her the rest of the way, please. Help her. Uh, too late for me. Deredrian and those mercenaries made sure of that. I never wanted my Mevi to get caught up in all this. To have to run forever from the Reformer. And the others. He'll never stop until Sharp is his again. I didn't have time. There's so much I could have done. I just couldn't do it on my own. Sharp looks strong, healthy. I'm sorry, so sorry, but glad to see him one last time. Rinella, stay with me, love, please. Rainilla. Rainilla. She can't be gone. She fought so hard to protect me. What am I going to do? We were supposed to have help. I thought maybe you and Sharp. But I can see it in his eyes. He doesn't remember me, does he? He doesn't remember anything. Kajkuje. Elder brother. It's what I always called him. Rainilla didn't know how to properly excise him from the Reformer's attunement back then. Like the others. Like me. Deke Nuje. His little sister. I don't think we had the same parents, but that was what he called me. He was there from the day I hatched. He always said he would come back for me. Help me escape. I'd given up all hope. I don't know. She said something about a safe house in Silent Mire, but our final destination was somewhere deep in Black Marsh. We barely escaped Eredrian. And now Rainella's gone. I don't know what I'm going to do. We were too late. I thought something might come back to me seeing Rainella. She knew me. And now she's just gone. I don't feel any memories stirring when I look at her either. Just nothing. I gave up on finding answers about my past a long time ago. I don't understand why this had to happen now. Help her. I'm a mercenary. I don't know how to look out for someone like her. And if this reformer is as powerful and dangerous as everyone said, there's not a place in Tamriel that is going to be safe for her anyway. He's more than after me. He's obsessed with me. But that I can do something about. If I could just track him down, that's what I have to do. Find the Reformer and be his end. But you heard Rainilla. If I try to do it alone, I'll end up like her. Going after the Reformer is a different job for a different day. Hunting my hunter is going to take time and patience for now. Take your payment, and if you'd like me watching your back wherever you're headed next, send for me. I'll be there. You okay? Rainilla got you this far. I'll take you the rest of the way. 
And then I'm never coming back to Morrowind. Where are you taking her? You've made your path clear, Sharp. If you fail at taking out the Reformer and fall under his control again, it's better if you don't know. Sharp, please come with us. You don't have to be alone. I am not going to be alone, and I am not going to fail.